This is one of the steering wheels off of the old Carnival ride that we're restoring and uh, can't get these anymore and I need quite a few of them for this project. So this week I'm back on our steering wheel project. I am trying to make a uh, 3D model of this old steering wheel so that I can uh, 3D print it and then use that as a pattern for casting in aluminum. So it's important to me that I can uh, get this turned out. I am super excited about this. I've been working on this model for like three months now. I mean, not continuously, but I've tried on three different occasions. Not only did I get the model done, but I got it sliced the way I want it too. See if we have any bed leveling problems here. Doing a circle is a great way to tell if you uh, are adhering to the bed properly. So this is going to be a seven plus hour print. It's done in four separate sections. Uh, I forget if I oversized that to 106%. Shoot, gotta go check. All right, take two. We forgot to enlarge it to 106%, which we need to do. That would have been very disappointing. Spend all that time printing only to be printing it at the wrong size. All right, we're laying down plastic. Some people in the past have asked me about my printer, and this is just a, a really cheap Ender 3 printer from the first year it came out. So I believe it was about $189, and all I've done is put it inside of a uh, an Ikea table and in order the table was not quite tall enough so we had to make some standoff spacers for all four corners to hold it up and that gives it the height it needs those uh, those spacers is a pattern you can you can download from Thingiverse the handle the hinges all of these were uh, part of the, the kit to do this you just need to buy uh, the table and then print these brackets out Put the whole thing together and then I've got uh, some quarter inch plywood on all four sides and then I have insulation on the inside. I disconnected all the electronics that would normally be on the side and on the front of it. I've got them all outside so they don't get affected by the heat. This uh, enclosure regularly gets up to about 110, 150 degrees inside of there and that helps the ABS that I'm using to uh, stick to the, the build surface better. It just feeds on top, it's on rollers and then I have a dehydrator here that I can use to dry the filament. Actually I want to put a fitting right in the side here and get some rollers that can handle the heat and I can feed straight from the dehydrator into the cabinet. Let's start at printing these. These are going to be locating holes so that the top half of the pattern can join the bottom half of the pattern and we get proper registration. I'll go in, in that room. You want to go in that room? Yeah. No, it's going to be a long time yet. You'll be in bed when it's done. Sixteen percent humidity and 122 degrees. I think that may just be about the hottest I've ever seen it in there. There we go. It's going to need quite a bit of sanding to get these two to mesh properly. The outside looks pretty good. This will take a little filling and sanding on here. This is pretty good back here. Just the normal sanding and priming. So apparently this piece is called a follow board and it's going to be used to support one half of the pattern while uh, the sand is being rammed up and at the same time it's going to be creating a recess that once it's removed the uh, other half of the pattern will fit down into. It's going to save me a lot of time that I don't have to be coping down to the uh, wheel. Well there it is. It took uh, three and a half hours to print that and I bet that's going to be tough to get off that platform. Oh. Well, that was easier than I expected. So I bought this set of dowel pins and it arrived just all 
scrambled up. But what I wanted them for was a way to pin these two halves of the steering wheel together. I think they're gonna work just fine for that. These are just for alignment. Those will go in there. That'll line that right up. But we have a lot of sanding to do before we're ready for that part. But my focus right now is sanding in here to get these two surfaces to mate together better. That's already looking better. Just right. So there's the wheel. I just need to do a lot of sanding. So I don't know how long I've been sanding this, but it's been quite a while and now I need to wash it off, see what it actually looks like and get some primer on it. While that first side is drying, I'll sort out these dowel pins. Much better. This top surface here is what's going to need the most filling. It's where you can really see the layer lines. how we're looking after filling and sanding. We need a little more right in here. See, that's dry. Looks like we are ready for paint. Let that dry, turn it over, do the other side. Finally time to start uh, ramming this up. This is our new two-piece pattern pinned together. Hopefully this is gonna work for us. I gotta get these pins out of here. This is uh, what's known as a follow board. It's designed to support these thinner sections up here that might uh, get damaged when we're pounding the sand in, but it does another thing. Now, if you remember back to the first time that I uh, tried to ram this up using the original wheel, as a pattern. Uh, one of the things I had to do was I had to, after ramming it up, I had to dig down into the sand to find the parting line. Hopefully this is going to prevent all of that. Well, I gotta say, that's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Had a little bit of break out there. Not completely happy with that. Not perfect, but we can make it work. But can we make this work? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Back to the drawing board. Okay, well, I'll leave it out. Okay. 
Here's that piece. This is what we didn't do last time. We didn't try to take this out. That looks pretty good. A few things are working out really well. This is working out great. And these pins for alignment are working out great. So we got that going for us. I think that might have been a key part we missed last time. We didn't make sure we could get the first part of the pattern out of the mold. must have a little bit of an undercut there because we keep getting that that little breakaway that can be taken care of with a grinder and I still want to put a well in here I'll buy that now we need to vent this this is going to be the top so I want to vent in each spoke That is ready for pouring. As soon as our metal gets up to temperature, that's what we'll do. Yeah, it took all of it. Time will tell. About half an hour has passed. We can probably pull that mold in here, see what we've got. So we didn't have enough metal to actually come up the sprue to fill it, so I'm a little concerned. Well, that doesn't look bad. The hub is a little dirty looking. Yeah, the wheel filled better than I expected. I just need a little bit more metal to make this work nicely. So it's been a pretty successful week. I've actually got four of these steering wheels done and they're in different stages of preparation. I tried sandblasting a few to see what that would look like. Uh, this one here is still raw, has to be cut off and bored. Uh, but that's the four we need for the first ride car. So that's kind of a milestone as far as I'm concerned. Didn't take that long. I've got it down to about 45 minutes from beginning to end. From the time that I turn the furnace on and I start ramming up the sand uh, till it's ready to pour and then uh, another 15 minutes to cool. So an hour total is about what it takes. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. This is one of those things that uh, I can do one every day after work and uh, in a few weeks time, uh, I'll have them all done. Uh, we know that we can do it now. And uh, this is not a perfect reproduction of the original. The webs in the center here uh, are a bit bigger, but I'm okay with that. I think, uh, Overall, it's gonna do the job and uh, pretty pleased with it actually. So I'll finish getting these machined and then get them powder coated and uh, move on to another part of this project. And if you wanna follow along, click that link to the left and come along for the ride.